Hi, I'm Kelsey Brennan Wessels, and welcome to this special edition of Earth from Space on the European Space Agency Web TV. Over the past months, we've had representatives from ESA's Head of Industry section, as well as from the World Bank Sustainable Development Network, join the show to discuss the relationship between Earth observation satellites and international banks. We talked about how satellite data are used to plan, monitor, and evaluate the bank's investment activities in developing countries. But in order for these data to be useful to the bank, the data first need to be converted into something more accessible, such as maps. With me in the studio today to give us a perspective of the service industry is Jeff Sawyer, Secretary General of the European Association of Remote Sensing Companies. Thank you so much for joining us today. Hi Kelsey, thank you very much. It's a now, pleasure to be here. Can you begin by telling us a bit about this association? What is it? What does it do? Well, ERSC, European Association for Remote Sensing Companies, is a trade association, which means it represents the interests of a group of companies and tries to, uh, to bring them together to promote their interests. In this case, their interest is mainly about market development and particularly about raising awareness of what the technology can, can do and what it, what, what it can offer. Um, as the association we represent, we have members who, who both from those who deliver data, who operate their own satellites, to those who take that data, that imagery, and turn it into something which is related to information, which basically can be a map, as you said just now. Um, it's, a, it's an interesting industry. In fact, of the 300 companies that we, we consider exist in, uh, in Europe, uh, the vast majority are what we call micro-enterprises, so 67% are companies that have less than 10 people. So then they're, they're young, they're, they're entrepreneurs that have started up companies, and it's this industry, this sector that we're looking to, to help grow. So what does this, uh, this, this sector have to do with international banks? Because you're talking about Europe, you're talking about these small countries, and then we're looking at international development, which seems like such a much larger scale thing. Mm. What's the relationship? Well, uh, satellite data, satellites are inherently global. They're looking at all the Earth, they're going round, they're taking imagery of the whole Earth. So there's data available, there's imagery available from different parts of the Earth almost all the time. And the large number of satellites means that if we want to get imagery of a particular area, normally it can be obtained quite quickly. So the uh, international development and sustainable development, this whole area is something that we think can benefit a lot from the use of more of, of, of these information, these data that are, that are being generated. So we've been working along with, with ESA to look at, as I said earlier, raising awareness, raising awareness of what the technology can offer, which is which is very, very broad, vast. The um, uh, from looking at uh, forests, looking at where uh, trees have been cleared down in favour of agriculture, looking at the carbon capture schemes, the carbon balance, uh, looking at disasters, uh, mitigating the impacts on people. And most of it is uh, about environment and the people and the security of, uh, of, of the people. So we think there's a lot of potential for, the more, for more use of satellite data in the, whole, in the world of international development and the international financial institutions which are largely funding projects in this area. Okay, now what, where do you see the future of ERSC uh, with the international development banks? Well, we're continuing to work with, uh, um, with, with ESA. We've seen some fantastic examples where uh, Earth observation data has has been used to uh, the, the, ex the example that I really like is is the one in, in Jakarta, where there was a project which uh, there's a lot of water extraction going on under, under Jakarta, and with water extraction, the ground's moving. Now, prior to the use of satellite data, there were four reference points, four geodesic reference points in uh, in, in Jakarta, where uh, it's very hard to tell. They people can tell that the ground's moving, but is this going up or is this going down? Where is it going? If, you, if these two points are two kilometres apart, what's happening in the middle? So where's the problem? Now with satellite data, instead of having four reference points, there were six million reference points identified. So then you can identify very precisely where the change is occurring. And the importance of that was to get people talking to understand where the responsibility was beforehand different uh, administrative areas within the city were all saying, no, it's not my problem, it's your problem. They were refusing to talk. Well, they, they couldn't find an agreement. With six million reference points from the satellite imagery, pre precisely pinning down where the problems lay, 
these groups all talked. So suddenly, it's not the technology, it's the human organization that's the problem. And the technology was able to bring these people to provide the information, to bring these people together to decide and solve the problem. And that's what we want to do more of. We think that um, there are more areas where satellite data can be used. Uh, there are so, so many applications. Um, research is going on, there are new ones coming forward. And uh, we, we, so we want to work with the, uh, the IFIs, others in the regions as well, in order to uh, understand how this technology can be used to solve the problems that they're facing every day. And also foster international collaboration, it seems. Uh, that's, that's right. It's, um, another example was looking at uh, oil pollution. And there, it wasn't just within city boundaries, this was national boundaries. Six countries that, as a result of the project that was put in place to test and demonstrate what could be done, we had um, six countries agreeing to form an international organization to monitor oil slicks in the area and to, to manage the problem of oil on the, uh, the open sea. Oh, that's so, great. We go. Perfect. Well, Jeff, thank you so much for joining us today. We appreciate it. Thank you very much. And to our viewers, remember that to learn more about space and about our planet, you can visit our website at www.esa.int.